Are you hungry? Why not have some Pringles? It's exquisite cuisine. Come on in and purchase this chip. Come enjoy these crisps. Ugh, this TV show's the worst. You're going to get Doritos instead. Can't I change it to something better? You think you have the Hey kids, welcome back to another episode of the Really Big Seahorse. In today's episode of the Really Big Seahorse, the seahorse gets really big. Oh my gosh, my All favorite right, show! The, the Really Big Seahorse! Yes, I love this show! <laughs> yes, I get really big in today's episode! There was a seahorse named Tim, and he was really big for no reason at all, but then a clam found him and they became best friends. Oh, I say no well. What are you doing? Turn that TV down! Sorry, Mom, I just really like this show. It's my favorite one. Did you have school in 40 minutes? Uh, maybe? You better get ready right now. I expect those grades to be good. Okay, Mom, sounds good. Looks like I have to turn off my favorite show. Oh, that was my favorite one. Oh, wait a second. <gasps> Today I have to go to the castle and try to find that treasure chest or at least start my mission. I only have, what, two days or something? Or I'm gonna get cursed. But what if it's all a setup? Ugh, I don't know what to do. I can either go to school and just deal with a curse or I could possibly get cursed for life. I don't know what to do. And it's raining outside again. Why is it always raining in this darn town? This town's weather is the absolute worst. I better figure out what to do in fast because who knows what's gonna happen. Honestly, I don't think it's a good idea to mess with that wolf, but I don't have much time and the weather is brutal. I guess I better sneak out and fast. Oh well, let me just start sneaking out. Not like my mom's gonna notice or anything. <laughs> Hey, Mom, I'm going to class a little early today so that I can, uh, get some extra credit. Extra credit? Wow, that's my star student. Yeah, of course, Mom. You just know that I love getting extra credit, so... Gonna go, um, yeah, get some extra credit. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Gonna go. Wow, I'm so proud of her. Okay, um, oh, gosh, this weather is just so brutal all the time. Why is it always raining in this town? Even worse when I have to go through a random forest and find a castle. <sighs> well... Here goes nothing again. We all love rainstorms, so we're just gonna, you know, just try to find a way to find wherever this castle might be. Um, I think it was to the west, right? I don't know, but we're just gonna go for it and uh, just pretend like my grades and my mom is not gonna kill me. So this is where I found the chest the other day. Somewhere straight back this way. Oh my gosh, a wolf! And oh my gosh, another chicken! There's so many cute animals! Oh, can't get distracted. Hey, little buddy, do you know my friend Mr. Chicken? <gasps> you do? Where is he? <laughs> okay, well, have a nice day. Uh, wait, do you know where the castle is? Well, I don't think that's much help. So we're just gonna keep on walking. Ugh, where to now? <gasps> Mr. Chicken! There you are! I missed you! What was that, Mr. Chicken? Wait, who's that? Is that what you're telling me about, Mr. Chicken? Who is that person over there? Uh, I mean... Alright, Mr. Chicken, if you want me to go see whoever this random lady way far in the distance is, uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind. Well... Okay, maybe Mr. Chicken is saying that I should go visit this random lady who's just randomly in the forest over there. Not suspicious at all. I mean, she seems fine. She looks like a nice person. Uh, don't know what she's doing out here, though, but I should go say hi. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, I guess you're right, Mr. Chicken. All right, here we go. Let's go introduce ourselves. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't think I'm weird. <laughs> hi, uh, my name is Lissy. Nice to meet you. Hello, I am Star. And I'm a witch. You're a witch? I didn't even know witches were real. Uh, but hi, uh, my name's Lissy. I'm in the middle of the forest because I'm trying to find a castle because my life's pretty crazy right now. What's so crazy about your life right now? I might be able to help you. I can actually see the future. In fact, anything inside of my crystal ball. Actually... I know what's in your mind in this exact moment. Would you like me to tell you what you're thinking about? Tell me what I'm thinking about? How could you possibly do that? Oh, it's not like I know what I'm thinking about anyways. <laughs> I already have read your mind. Looks to me like you're thinking about that seahorse show on TV. Isn't that a kid show? But I also know what else is on your mind. <laughs> 
possibly know that I was thinking about that? Now that is creepy. Okay, I mean, so you know so much, don't you? Well, what else is on my mind then? Well, it looks to me like, uh... A guy, and his name is actually Leo, huh? Uh, let me give you a quick reading. Let's take a look in the crystal ball and see what Leo thinks of you or what he's up to right now. How could you possibly see what he's thinking of me, feeling of me, or what he's doing right now? That's not even possible! Besides, isn't magic fake anyways? There, there. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just trying to help you. Plus, I can see the future. Let's take a look in my crystal ball right here. Demisha, Demisha. Tell us the future. So apparently your uh, lover Leo here looks like he's with another girl in there. Uh, on a date or something. Did you know that? I'm so sorry to show you this, dear, but it looks like he has feelings for another woman. <gasps> what? It couldn't be. Uh, um, is that really real? I thought that he liked me. He told me that he liked me and that I was beautiful. I don't understand. Are you sure about that? That, that possibly can't be right. I'm really sorry, but I've never read anybody's future wrong before. I've been a star witch for years, so my magic crystal ball always shows and predicts the future. No, no, that can't be right. You know what? I, I've been having a bad day. I, I just can't take anymore. Please just leave me alone. <laughs> oh my goodness. I shouldn't have went to talk to that witch. I didn't need to see that. What if she was right? What if Leo really is with another girl right now and doesn't like me? I'm just gonna run far into the forest where nobody can ever find me again. I don't want to ever deal with another witch or monster or firewolf ever again. Everything just goes wrong for me and I can't even find where this castle even is. Well, looks like I'm spending my night in the forest. Hey, what are you doing in the forest? Uh, who are you? And, uh, well, I'm having a picnic, yeah, by myself out here in the woods. Uh... Nobody does that. What do you mean nobody does that? Uh, it's kind of normal. I do it like every Saturday, duh. Why are you crying? Me crying? <laughs> no, uh, uh, it was raining earlier, yeah, and uh, I guess my makeup must have smeared. Doesn't look like that to me. Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> you don't seem so fine. By the way, my name's Max. Um, nice to meet you, Max. What brings you out here into the middle of the forest anyways? Uh, I was just going to work. Well, I didn't know that people worked out in the forest. Like, what's your job? I work up at the ranger station. I take care of, I observe the beavers. Observe the beavers? I didn't even know that was a job. Like, isn't there even not beavers out here? There's a whole load of beavers. Oh, um, okay. Anyways, uh, Max, it was nice seeing you, but <laughs> I'm gonna continue having my picnic alone in, uh, the woods by myself. Could I join? Uh, Join. Don't you have to go to work and take care of your beavers? Beaver boy. That's gonna be your new nickname. Uh, work doesn't start for like another two hours and you seem pretty lonely. Lonely? No, I'm not lonely. I have all sorts of friends. I'm friends with this chicken. I'm friends with this one guy who's apparently with another girl. I mean, I have tons of friends. Look at me. I'm perfectly happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm joining you on this picnic. Scoot over right now. Excuse me? You can't just talk to me like that. Plus, I have, like, other guys I'm definitely talking to right now. So, like, Beaver Boy, you've got to back up. So, tell me about these other boys. You know what? It's none of your business, Max Beaver Boy. You know what? In fact, I'm going to go and do something else. Bye. Wait, hold up. I'm coming with you. Uh, no you're not. I have to go do something. I'll burn my beaver if you let me join. You know what, Max? No, you and your beaver can stay behind. I'm going. Bye. Oh, that weird guy. I hope he leaves me alone. What? I'm gonna get you. No, you're not. I'm leaving. Oh my gosh, I think I lost him. Oh, I guess we just gotta keep walking and hope to find something or some kind of clue. Hello, friends. Oh, what are you? And how did you know? Yeah, I'm trying to find a castle, actually. Do you happen to know where it might be? Castle? Yeah, I've actually heard about one before. A really big, scary one with a dragon. I don't recommend you go there. <laughs> what do you mean you don't recommend it? I, uh, actually have to go there. You see, uh, if I don't go there, uh, I'm gonna get cursed. Yeah. Oh, speaking of curse, the curse might already be happening. Hey, can you, uh, please tell me where it is, quick? Uh, I uh, thank you for the tip. It's, uh, storming pretty bad. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll be safe. Oh, gosh. Why is this weather so bad? I gotta go hide under a tree. 
Ugh, this weather never seems to get better. Why didn't he recommend I go there? Oh, I don't know if I should go there. Maybe tonight I should just build a fort and, you know, camp in it. Oh, my mom's gonna be so worried about me. <gasps> my phone's ringing. What? Leo? Oh, I probably shouldn't answer. <gasps> He texted me. Hey, I miss you a lot. I wish you were at class today. Are you sick? I'm worried. We haven't talked much lately. Love, Leo. Isn't he with another girl? What if that witch is wrong? What if they're trying to set me up to something? Do you guys think Leo is really talking to another girl behind my back and the witch is really being honest? Or do you guys think Leo's really playing me? Also, why does Beaver Boy want to follow me around? There's just so much crazy stuff I don't understand. I probably should head to the castle so I don't get cursed. But I don't even know where this castle is. I mean, the cow might have helped me out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should do. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. And hopefully I find the castle in my next video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think is gonna happen in the next episode. And if you guys think Leo really is playing my heart. Anyways, guys, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe button and be sure to drop a like. Let's try to get this video to 1,000 likes for the next part. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.